In this video, we'll be having a look at OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, which is a bleeding edge Linux distribution for professionals and power users. OpenSUSE is undeniably one of the biggest names in the Linux world. It is the professional's choice. Used by advanced users in development environments and servers extensively, OpenSUSE provides a very refined and robust computing experience. OpenSUSE offers two editions, Leap and Tumbleweed. Leap is a point release version, whereas Tumbleweed is a bleeding edge rolling release that comes with some phenomenal benefits. The latest of all the software before anybody else, full control over your system with Yast, industry leading reliability and so many more features make OpenSUSE Tumbleweed a fantastic choice. I've been distro hopping a lot recently. In the last 4 weeks, I tried many big and small names and once I came to OpenSUSE, it really intrigued me. So I stayed with it. So let's jump right in and have a look at what's new, the performance, the software choice, stability, gaming and the ultimate feature set that make OpenSUSE Tumbleweed the best Linux distro for power users. OpenSUSE Tumbleweed is a bleeding edge rolling release Linux distribution. You get the latest and greatest of all the tech. As soon as a new package version is released, it is tested, packaged and pushed to the users. This ensures you're not missing out on any new features or technology. Everything is new, always. Now many of you might compare Tumbleweed to Arch Linux, since that too is a bleeding edge rolling release. But there are some crucial differences between the two. Installation, testing process, software availability, the overall experience and even the code design and philosophical principles are significantly different between both these distributions. Arch is more of a do-it-yourself project while OpenSUSE has that professional touch. Rolling release means the same system is updated continuously for as long as you want. There are no version numbers here like Ubuntu or Debian. The entire system with all your installed programs is updated forever. When new versions of software and packages are ready, they are tested and released. The system downloads and installs these updates with almost no intervention from the user. These rolling release distros enable easy maintenance and a very smooth experience for the tech-savvy Linux users. This is fantastic for students and developers especially. Moving on to the user interface, OpenSUSE scores major points here. OpenSUSE provides all the major desktop environments in their stock form here. During installation, you get the option to choose your favorite desktop. We get GNOME, KDE Plasma, Cinnamon, Mate, XFCE, LXDE, LXQT, Enlightenment, Deepin Desktop, and Budgie. We have GNOME 42 running on Tumbleweed here. Yes, we get the latest version with the new shell theme, new libadweta apps, and huge performance improvements. Since GNOME 40, I really love how stock GNOME looks. The system is fast and responsive. I always loved working on GNOME. The activities overview and the workspaces make working here so effortless. And here, we are getting GNOME 42 in its purest form. No additional components or styling. One thing I didn't like is the crowded application grid. Yast, which we'll talk about in a minute, has many entries and they all are individually shown here. This makes the app grid very cluttery. Since GNOME now supports drag and drop buckets, we can put all the Yast entries into one bucket and that solves the issue. We also get the latest libadweta apps. These look really polished and modern. Theming is a bit different here, at the moment things are very new, but if you know what you are doing, you can make the system look fantastic with libadweta. Overall, GNOME 42 is just amazing. Then we get KDE Plasma here. This too comes in its full stock form. This desktop environment is very suitable for people who have recently migrated from Windows as the layout is very similar. I myself am a big fan of this bottom panel based workflow. We get the latest Plasma 5.24 here. This version brings huge improvements. Now you can finally right click on an image and set it as wallpaper directly. Yeah, Eureka. We also get improved Valen support. The looks have gotten a touch of enhancement. Accent colors are more prominent now. The breeze theme has been updated and the animation and effects have also been retouched. Additionally, we get XFC, Cinnamon and all the other desktops. You can also install multiple desktops on the same installation. In the looks department, Tumbleweed scores top points because there is total freedom for the user. You can choose any interface you want and all of them are available in their purest forms. What more could we ask for? OpenSUSE's Yast Control Center is renowned for its comprehensive feature set. It's a very powerful tool. 
Yast is a huge selling point for OpenSUSE as well as SUSE Enterprise Linux. No other Linux distribution has such a versatile and powerful administrative software. You install OpenSUSE with Yast, you install software and manage them with Yast, you configure and control everything with Yast. When I say everything, I mean everything. Yast is also super user friendly. With this simple graphical interface, it's easy for both experienced Linux users and newcomers to get the most out of their systems. It's modular and gives you control in a way that you can handle it. Everything is neatly organized here. Linux newcomers as well as experienced Linux users will appreciate this. Most of these settings can be directly accessed from the dash. Bleeding edge distros can be very intimidating as well as cumbersome for people who are new to them. Yast makes using a bleeding edge distro very pleasant as it truly gives you control. And in case something goes wrong, you know you can solve the issue with few clicks. Package managers play a huge role in rolling release distributions. And with OpenSUSE, we get a very advanced and powerful one. Zipper is a robust package manager that is very easy to use and lets you install and manage thousands of software on OpenSUSE. It makes it easy to keep your system up to date with the latest software releases and security patches. It automatically manages dependencies and stuff very harmoniously. Graphically, you can install and manage software from Yast. While we do get GNOME software here, I really enjoyed using Yast. It has that old synaptic feel and is so fast. With Yast, we get so much control. We can add and manage repositories directly from here. And there are more than a hundred thousand packages in the official repositories. You can find pretty much anything you want here. Search in Yast and it is presented to you in a second. I was pleasantly surprised when I found even lesser known software here. In Yast, software are organized categorically so you can browse around. We can also install RPM packages directly. I can tell you that you are going to really enjoy the amazing software availability here on OpenSUSE. Bleeding edge rolling release is not a term that's necessarily synonymous with stability. Fast updating packages do introduce an element of volatility. While this can be mitigated by maintaining proper backups, it is still more work when you compare it to something like Debian Stable. I'm not gonna deny that. But then, the advantages of using bleeding edge distros are also massive. You get the latest features as soon as they are out, you're safer, you might get better performance as a result of better performing drivers, desktop environments, and just better software in general. And as far as bleeding edge distros go, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed is just amazing. OpenSUSE is made for system admins, developers, and other professionals. This makes it imperative that OpenSUSE be a high quality product that is also exceedingly reliable. And that is what OpenSUSE is exactly. OpenSUSE has created a phenomenal tool called OpenBuild Service or OBS that helps with compiling and packaging Linux applications. OpenSUSE uses this for all its versions and SUSE Enterprise Linux too. OBS automates many things, letting the developers focus on things that matter. OpenSUSE Tumbleweed packages undergo extensive testing. All the packages coexist very harmoniously here without breakage, and Zipper itself is very good at handling dependencies and stuff. And if something goes wrong, we have another fantastic tool called Snapper here. With Snapper, you can roll back to key moments before you either install or update something or make any changes through Yast. There, OpenSUSE got you covered. You need to configure this. Then, snapshots can be accessed from Yast. Overall, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, although a fast updating distribution, is also very reliable. It is a fantastic and up-to-date computing system that gives you a fresh experience, always. OpenSUSE delivers amazing performance, no questions asked. And since it is available with XFC and Mate desktops too, you have the option to install it on older and low-powered devices to get higher performance. Even on modest hardware, something like Mate can visibly boost performance levels. Performance with GNOME is good too. We get the latest GNOME 42 here. GNOME 40 plus versions are built with GTK4, which has a very good GPU acceleration. This makes the desktop feel more responsive. KD Plasma is amazing as usual in the performance department. The driver support here is good. We get the latest NVIDIA drivers from additional repositories. And the latest AMD GPU drivers are in the kernel itself. So your hardware will be delivering the best possible performance all the time with OpenSUSE. Gaming on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed is good. 
while not my first recommendation for a gaming distro, I still think we can get some cool gaming going on here. We get a wide range of games in the official repositories. Zero AD, Xonautic, Super Tux Cult, and many more free games can be installed directly from Yast and they are hours of fun. We can also install Steam and Steam games. Everything works great here and even Proton games run fine. With Steam Play, now you can play many top Windows exclusive titles on Linux. GTA 5, Cyberpunk 2077, Elden Ring, and many other top titles can be played here. The gaming scene on Linux has changed drastically. With Steam, most games can be installed here with just a few clicks, just like they are Linux native, and they run without any wine or play on Linux hassle. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, then you might need to be careful around kernel updates. The latest NVIDIA drivers and latest Linux kernels are known not to play well together, so make sure to have backups always. I would recommend OpenSUSE Leap over Tumbleweed for gaming. OpenSUSE is a true community-driven project. The community plays a huge role here. And for people who are just moving to OpenSUSE, this can be hugely beneficial. The open source community is very helpful as well as vocal. There is an exhaustive resource of how-to guides and troubleshooting articles on the web. Even for device specific issues, you can find solutions quite easily. The forums are active all the time. Installing and getting started with open source tumbleweed is very easy. Firstly, you need to download the ISO file. Now we get many options here so it might be confusing at times. For installation, it's recommended that you download the offline image for your specific architecture. Then you flash it onto a USB stick and live boot into it. Yast will take you through installation. All the steps are easy to understand and beginner friendly. You get to choose the desktop environment you want here. The whole process takes around 20 minutes. After installation, you get stock desktops without any additional theming. The system is functional with a good number of pre-installed apps. AMD and Intel integrated graphics drivers are pre-installed. For Nvidia, you do get open source drivers installed but for maximum performance, you need to install proprietary drivers. With Tumbleweed, make sure to have snapper or timeshift backups as these can be very crucial when using a rolling release distribution. If you are looking for a Linux distribution that's consistently updated with the latest software and is still reliable, then open source Tumbleweed is a great choice. This rolling release distribution is perfect for power users who want to always have the latest and greatest software at their fingertips. Plus, with OpenSUSE's excellent package management system, it's easy to keep your system up to date. I personally think OpenSUSE is criminally underrated. This system is a very high quality product, but gets very less mentions online. People don't talk about OpenSUSE like they used to. But this is not a reflection on OpenSUSE as an operating system itself. OpenSUSE Tumbleweed is an amazing system for people who want to experience the advanced stuff. While I don't recommend this for someone who's new to Linux, I do suggest it to intermediate Linux users. You're gonna enjoy it. Also, OpenSUSE is an amazing choice for people who want to move away from snaps, flatpacks, and want to have old school packaging. Well, I'm loving it. If you enjoyed this video, do consider subscribing to the channel. Next up, Check out Peppermint OS 11 which is yet another fantastic distro with some serious power under the hood. This is Linux Tech, see you guys in the next one.